So I've fallen a little bit behind on the Hot Wheels customs uh, or the restorations, whatever you want to call them. I've got a couple in the works, one being the custom Camaro, which I think I've had that for three weeks. Just haven't had a whole lot of time and really I haven't felt like being down here. It's been pretty nice out so me and the little guy have been doing a lot of things outside, ride the motorcycle. I actually got another motorcycle as well to ride with him. So uh, that's where we're at with all that. But we did get a little mailbox find here. Let's open it up and see what's inside. I think there are two cars in here. So one is going to be a review of a custom. And the other, as the furnace kicks on, or actually, sorry, the AC kicks on. Hopefully that's not too loud in the background. I usually try to stop and cut that out but for this video I'm gonna leave it running for the time being so we've got a couple of cars here nicely packed oh I think we also have a little letter too and I got a nice little letter here from uh, Sean at dudes in Toyland podcast I will be sure to put a link in the description below to their podcast I was actually on this podcast, and hopefully by the time this airs, you'll actually be able to hear that podcast, and I'll put a link to that as well. But you've got Will and Sean on this podcast. It's a great podcast. I, I listen to a lot of podcasts. Most of them are either woodworking or motocross related, almost all of them. This is the only toy podcast I'm a part of, or I listen to rather, and it's uh, I really enjoy it. They discuss a lot of Hot Wheels, Star Wars if you're into that those kind of things even some GI Joe pretty neat it's uh, really interesting I believe they've got about 15 or 16 episodes right now and I've actually listened to all of them I uh, did so before I even went on the podcast just to get a little bit uh, of an idea of uh, what Will and Sean were like but Sean has sent me two cars here a before and after so we've got a before custom and an after custom I have a feeling this is the before and this is actually for my grandson per Sean so my grandson, if you don't know uh, my collection, kind of a little background, we probably have about 4,000 cars, 4,100, and I only keep about 100 of those, and most of those are either customs or they are smoking the band of Trans Ams, that kind of thing. Everything else goes to him. There's only a few that don't, and uh, he probably has about 4,000, so this is going to go with his 4,000 other cars. So this is a Dodge Charger 500 right here. And we've got the other one, which is in a box. Looks like a matchbox box. Here we go. Oh, this is pretty sweet. So this is a General Lee, which we just did a General Lee, so this is perfect. This is a ratted out General Lee, so this has been through the ringer. Now these are before and after. This is pretty cool. So he's got some... This is really cool, actually, how he's done the weathering on this really excellent job I like this I like the windshield of course you got the for sale sign there license plate everything now if you do listen to the podcast one of the thing I do talk about I think it's gonna make there are water slides I am NOT really good with them at all obviously Sean has mastered them because this license plate I would probably never be able to do that so let's get a close-up look at it so we're gonna do the before after we're actually gonna move the camera and we'll be back in just a moment first we'll have a look at the original and again, this is going to go to the grandson. His favorite color is red, but lately he's really digging green, so this is kind of perfect. He may already have this one. I don't think he does. Probably not. I don't know. He's got, like, as I mentioned, 4,000 or so. It's uh, too many to count. And here is the beauty. Excellent job. The decal here, again, has got some crinkling to it the back it's, it's just great I, I love these weathered cars and I've actually been uh, contemplating on trying one I've never done one and I think this has motivated me to do one actually we'll probably do that with the 57 Chevy I do have some weathering paints I've never used them and I've been thinking about and a lot of people commented and I was originally thinking about it as well was to make that 57 Chevy that the paint just went south on to make that into like a beater car and I think we're gonna do that I'm not sure if I'm gonna have this much detail as far as the little for sale sign the license plate 
This is definitely one that will stay in my collection because Sean didn't say he wanted it back and uh, probably not getting it back anyway. And we'll kind of put them side by side here so you can see all the differences. Obviously it started out as chrome base, black interior, green, all that good stuff. He has painted the interior. Obviously the base has been de-chromed. It's painted the rear, painted everything on it. Didn't leave anything out. And what I think is cool, which you may not even notice, is for the original green, he has left some green on the hood here to kind of simulate, well, hey, it used to be this car, and now it's this car. Did a wheel swap. And as mentioned, this has motivated me to start one of these. I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing. Maybe good for content, but bad for me because it's something else I'm going to have to work on. But uh, so be it. And there goes that AC again. So this is probably a good stopping point. Be sure to check out the description below to the Dudes in Toyland podcast. After you check out those links, be sure to check out the other links in the video description as well. I have Amazon links to just about every tool that I use and all the videos including the screws to do the wheel swaps, axles, this rotating stand, the drill bits, everything. They are in the description below. Also, you'll find links to my Instagram channel. I typically try to post a video, or a picture rather, of what the next custom is, like a week or two before it's gonna come out. Unfortunately, since there's been no videos, or nothing in the works, I haven't posted any pictures on there. But it doesn't hurt to check it out from time to time. You may see something pop up there. And as always, thanks for watching.